now I will show you how to move a text box in the grid area suppose take an example that this is a grid and this is a text box so wherever I click like this in any row or any column this text box will move to that test that column and row so how to do it so for this stop the program and come to the grid so if I click the grid the text box should move there so it means let's do one thing let's do first of all of column wise if I click any column it will move to that column so first of all we have to understand the value of grid click suppose if I click here it should give a message that this is column 1 this is column 2 column 3 that way so for that double click on grid so grid click will come now type the codes message box grid dot mouse call so this code means if I click on grid so mouse through mouse on the column then that value will be displayed in a message box so let's try so if I click here you can see one as this is the first column press ok now this is third column let's try three is coming this is four and this is five so we can trap the column number by clicking on a grid so now how to move a test box so stop the program and now do the coding here you can change this code to comments so write the code if grid dot call is equal to 1 then and if so test box left value should be so find out the value so come to the interface see the test box so its value is its name is text 5 so you can move the text box using control and arrows and see what is the left position like it should come in this position so find the left value so left value is 1080 so copy this value and in the code you can write text 5 dot left is equal to 1080 so now let's understand the codes once again so I have written the codes in grid click it means if I click in the grid and if grid column is equal to 1 then test box left value should be 1080 so you can write else if also so copy this code and paste it here and make it else so grid column if it is 2 then what should be the left position so find out the left position for that come to the interface select the test box move using control and right arrow key and see the position like this position is ok now you can see the left is 1000 2040 so copy it come to the code window and now paste it here so you can see you can delete this blank line and you can separate the code like this now you can highlight these lines so you can see if grid column is equal to 1 then text 5 left should be 1080 if grid column is equal to 2 its left value should be 2040 so let's try start the program you can see it is here if I click here it is coming here if I click here it is coming here so better is type some text now click here you can see it is coming here if I click in the second column it is coming here if I click on third one it is not coming so I have to program that way only so stop it so now what we have to understand that in this case all the columns have equal width so it is equal it is will be moving equally so what we can do find the exact difference of these two so if we subtract 2040 by 1080 it comes 960 so it means 
1080 plus 960 so it is better to write the codes this way so next time we can always add 960 so that we don't have to move every time and have to find the value so come to the code now copy the same line for third column this will be for third column fourth column fifth column now change the column from 2 to 3 this will be 4 and this will be 5 now the values like see this was once for second column for third column this will be twice so what we can do multiply by 2 this will be multiply by 3 this will be multiply by 4 so this way it looks logical and clarity comes so in this case you can give multiply by 1 just for making it in a sequence or, or for series 1 2 3 4 so now let's start and see I will type some text like app tech now I will click in the this column it's coming this side then this column next column next column next column if I click on the first one it's coming this side so we have to correct this also so column wise we are able to move now let's move it row wise also so for that stop the program and what you can do you can copy the same code this way and paste it and now instead of calls make it rows so copy this code and replace with rows r o w so replace 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 now in the top make it cancel so now instead of this left you have to make it top so copy now find and instead of left make it top so replace 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 so this left you don't have to do because it's out of this code so all calls we have to we have made it rows and all left we have made it top now the values like 1080 you have to decide so for that come to the interface move this test box to the top using control and up arrow key now you can see it have come to the right position now come to the top property so come little bit bottom so you can see it's 600 so copy this value come to the code window now this all 1080 have to be made 600 so you can make it 600 so this way for five rows we are doing the programming now what should be this value of 960 so come to the interface now select this test box now come at the bottom using control down arrow key now see this is the perfect position now see the top value 840 and what was the base value 600 so 600 and 840 have a difference of 240 so you have to make it here 240 the same logic as we have used in columns has to be used in rows see so this way the programming is done but this program have a limitation that it will move to only five columns and five rows so first of all let's try it then we'll try to simplify it start it so type some text so that we can differentiate that it is moving see if you click anywhere it's moving but if you move below this it will not come because we have program up to five rows so now what can be done that it can come to any rows and any columns so for that we have to program little bit dynamic way for that stop the program this of this type of code have limitations like this code for columns and this for rows so how we can make it dynamic so for that what we have to do come at the top and write it write the codes like this so first of all you can disable this this part and you can disable this part also and you can come at the top 
copy this line and come at the top and paste it here so what you have to write that its left position should move according to the grid call values so grid call values will be 1080 so you can use 1080 plus 960 into now what you have to see that if it is column 2 we are multiplying by 1 if it is column 3 we are multiplying by 2 so 1 less so 5 means 4 4 means 3 3 means 2 2 means 1 so what you can do here multiply it by mouse call because this 2 means mouse call value minus 1 and you have to first of all put them in bracket then only it will multiply so now let's compare this code with this whole code so what it will do if you click on a grid first of all it will take the value suppose we have click on 3 so what it will do it will take 3 this is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 2 will be like you can see this 2 code if we click on column 3 so you can see this will mouse call will become 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 2 multiply by 960 plus 1080 you can see this code is coming so this whole line you can write in this one line and this becomes more dynamic because every click it checks but this one checks for only five columns so now let's try that this works or not start the program it's not working let's see what is wrong here stop the program and let's check okay the actually problem is mouse call directly doesn't work you have to write grid dot mouse call now it will work now start the program now you can see type something text now you can see if you click here it moves to corresponding columns the same way you can do for rows for that stop the program now copy this whole line and just paste it below it instead of left you have to use top instead of 1080 you have to use this 600 instead of this 960 gap you have to use 240 instead of mouse call you have to use mouse row so this way the code becomes perfect this two line is better than this much of line now you can start and check click anywhere first of all type some text so that you can feel see anywhere you click the test box move to that position so this is the end of our tutorial of moving a text box on the grid area thank you